Hey, what's up guys? Hong here for OG Fitness. And uh, <clears throat> in today's video, I wanna talk about judo for BJJ. And more specifically, what I, uh, to what belt I think, I feel that you should get to, right? So that it could benefit you uh, the most <clears throat> when it comes to, um, uh, you know, for BJJ, right? So <clears throat> I believe that Cross training is important. So whether your sport is judo or whether it's BJJ, I think it's good to uh, to to dabble in both of them, right? <clears throat> but of course, um, if you're a strictly a BJJ guy, right? <clears throat> I feel as though if you have the uh, the opportunity, the time, uh, and even access, right? That that falls into opportunity, I guess, right? If you have a school nearby or if you have a club that does both, you know, uh, I think it's really beneficial to. Uh, cross train in judo also right so that way you learn <clears throat> how to break fall which is really important uh, kuzushi which is off balancing the opponent right that's a big part of judo and um, also you know how to do the basic throws right like there's not a million throws in judo but there's like a million variants and setups and all that just like in BJJ right you have your basic uh, positions and submissions but after that the way you go about it I mean mind-blowing forget about it you know you can you can spend your life uh, just perfecting uh, one or two free techniques and you know so okay so here's the thing I think that you should get to at least because in judo for those of you guys who don't know you have a, a belt system that's a little bit longer you know the traditional belt system so when you start off of course you're white then you're yellow then you're orange then you're green then you're blue brown and then after that black so I believe that you should get at least to blue belt right Blue belt because you're halfway there, so you're no longer a beginner, uh, and so you're intermediate, right? And I think that in itself, okay, is going to help you tremendously in your uh, BJJ game, uh, you know? So, and the fun thing about judo is that as you train it, you, you'll see, like, if you just go to, but here's the thing though, you have to go to a school that's competitive, right? If you're a BJJ player, and you're a competitive BJJ player, you wanna to go to a judo club that has a lot of competitors and stuff like that. And then that way, I feel as though your, your blue belt will be worth something, right? Because there are, there are some clubs, um, <clears throat> they give out the belts really quick, right? So you don't necessarily, you probably don't want that. You want to really <clears throat> have a school where <clears throat> The coaches, you know, when they give you a belt, you really know, okay, that's where your level is. You're progressing, you're, you're making progress and all that. So you go to a school that's competitive, that has competitors, right? You get to blue belt and that's gonna help you tr tremendously. Uh, even in terms of your grip, your the grip strategy, the grip work, you know, developing um, uh, the grip strength, right? I mean, I know in BJJ, you guys have grip strength, but judo, it's, it's kind of on another level because you know that's their main focus really like the new judo is really fought on um <clears throat> gripping on the kumikata right so i mean that's where you have to dominate first and it's drilled into you like there's no tomorrow right if you're at a good club a competitive club i mean it's so important because if you don't have the grips <clears throat> then uh you know you don't uh you're you're, you're not in control right and that's something that <clears throat> that's going to benefit you a lot when when you're in BJJ you're gonna understand the importance of gripping and you're gonna out grip all the guys right <clears throat> and then from there you're gonna have and when you have a dominant kumikata so you have a dominant grip over the guy man from there you can um, then, then you can go about your BJJ and and uh, impose your will so to speak right so definitely I think the important thing is to get to at least blue belt right you're halfway there and of course if you get to brown belt even better <clears throat> right and I, I know that BJJ is tends to be more expensive than judo judo is really dirt cheap comparatively right I guess it depends once again on the clubs and where you guys are at right but generally speaking judo is much cheaper probably like half price so even if you want it if you're if you your focus is BJJ but then you learn judo it's gonna be great for you really really beneficial right you're gonna develop all um, <clears throat> you're gonna see a different approach to uh to this whole kumikata and this whole you know um in terms of being explosive using your strength and you're going to develop a lot of these uh, uh attributes by training judo you know um sorry i lost a little bit in my thoughts there but 
that's the thing. So definitely get to at least uh, blue belt, in my opinion, if you if you have the time and the inclination, of course. And if you're if you're really into BJJ and you're competing, it's gonna it's gonna help a lot, a lot. And also, uh, yeah. So that's what I was thinking about, because BJJ tends to be more expensive. Judo tends to be cheaper, and not only cheaper when you uh, for your fees per uh, per month, right? But even the competitions are cheaper. So you could actually like do you know uh, do 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 judo competitions in in parallel with uh, uh, to develop yourself even further in judo a little bit, right? And then after that, uh, continue, but do mostly your BJJ thing, right? And so that's the uh, the fun part of it because I know that uh, BJJ is more expensive on a monthly basis for your uh, the fees for your club, and also even the competitions are are are, are expensive. They're double, triple, you know what judo is. So I think double, triple is exaggerating there. But uh, here in Quebec, Canada, Montreal, it's double. Uh, BJJ, every, it, it's, it's double the price of judo in competition, for competitions I mean, and even for uh, training at clubs. So, and also, <clears throat> if you get the brown belt, right? Because blue belt, you're halfway there, and if you get the brown belt, you're essentially very close to the black belt. Like, there's not much missing there. The only thing that's missing from from brown to black, right, is really the points. That you have to accumulate in competition and passing the exam but if you if you're a brown belt i mean you're not too far off from being a black belt but that being said right um the way i was taught is that once you get your black belt in judo that's when you enter uh the big boys club that's when you get into the um uh in french they call it uh because i speak french we speak french here in quebec uh le cours des grands right that means uh the the big boy playing field right the the man the, exactly the, the big the big boys uh, playing field so that's when you really start so when you get your black belt it's kind of like um as opposed to bjj right when you get your black belt 10 years later you're like essentially an expert right uh soup like yeah exactly you're 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 an expert <clears throat> whereas in judo once you get to your black belt now it really now it really starts your education and, and everything really starts so a lot like in a lot of the other traditional martial arts um, for example uh, even karate even taekwondo and stuff once you get your black belt it means that you've mastered the basics right and now it's time to like continue your your evolution so that's why they have your dance and all that right so but that being said I mean if you get to to blue or brown, you, you have very, very solid foundation and that's gonna help you tremendously. Me, myself, personally, uh, it took me, so I'm five years in now and I got my brown belt like at about four and I got, uh, to get to the blue belt, it took me about three years. Yeah, three years to get my blue belt and that's training two times a week, right? So of course, if you train uh, two times a week and and I think that if you're if you're a serious uh, BJJ player competitor right then you're probably training like four or five times a week but if you could add in uh, two sessions of judo uh, a week that would be um, that would help tremendously and of course if you just have yeah two times a week is I think the, the minimum you know because it's, it's kind of uh, but even once a week that's that's really good that's you know it might take you a little bit longer but then again it always depends on on your school and it also depends on your own um, ability to uh, you know how how athletic you are what kind of baggage you have and all that so you know some guys will progress faster into their uh, uh, they'll get their belts faster right because they're just naturally uh, maybe gifted or whatnot right or even some guys though and even if you're not gifted I mean it's just at the end of the day it's hard work right so the more effort you put into it the faster the more effort and consistency you put into it the faster the, the faster you'll uh, you'll get better and then you'll get your belts right and then it's a great thing man so once you get to blue belt I mean yeah you're halfway there you're intermediate level uh, judo right of course if you get to brown then you're you're considered advanced right and you're not too far from black and when when you get to black well that's when you know that essentially you 
no judo you're your representative you know the basics you understand the uh, uh the art and this and that and you have to like learn all the um uh, the sibilis the nomenclature right all the words all the techniques and all that but that's not for everybody so even if you don't give a, a crap about all of that and the traditions and i know it's restrictive guys you know like uh you go to judo clubs and it's very square you know you you gotta bow and this and that but it's it's kind of a beautiful thing too man so i don't think that uh you know even if you're you're a free more free spirited and you know you're more into the uh that other side of things you you like it more relaxed more 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 friendly and this and that it's okay but i mean there's something beautiful about um having that type of structure too right you guys have to remember it's 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 japanese and that's why it's so you know uh, square and organized and, and disciplined and all that which is uh, which is cool it's it's so and then you and, and the beauty of it is you could kind of like see compare judo and BJJ and you can you know you take what you like you know but uh, don't I don't think you should be um, discouraged or, or like be turned off by 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 certain uh, restrictive aspects of, uh, of judo right just go there learn what you need right you know, play the game, do what you have to do, and you're gonna see, you, you'll, you'll appreciate a lot of things about it too, right? It's very, very interesting. It's a very, uh, has deep roots, deep culture, you know, um, into the warrior samurai slash mindset kind of thing, you know? So I think it, it would benefit you greatly. So definitely, if you're going to do judo for BJJ, um, go like a, a judo school, right like strict judo that's it not not some kind of you know not not like just just judo classes for, for like take down judo classes for bjj like really just study judo study judo you know so do that and um if you if you can of course and i'm i promise you it's going to make a big difference in your bjj it's going to elevate your game it's definitely going to elevate your game and you know think of it this way judo highly specialized in uh in standing throwing and all that and bjj is the ground but you want both of them right like uh if you're if if, if you're a grappler um with a gi, right it's important i think it's really important so that's it for this video guys uh like the video if you liked it subscribe to my channel uh click on the notification bell sharing uh the video helps me grow of course so sharing is caring and uh leave down the comments below what do you guys think uh, do you think it's beneficial or you don't you feel you don't need it? You know like this uh, this community here that I'm trying to build It's all about sharing ideas discussions like we don't always have to agree. We don't always have to uh, uh, to see eye to eye and even uh, But it's okay. I mean the when we talk about it and I do read through all the comments That's when I get ideas and I and my views change over time, too so a lot of you guys some of you, some some people watch my older videos and I'm, I I give my opinion on this on that you know but here's the thing, only a fool never changes his mind right so the more we talk about this the more I make videos the more I train the more I you know I read the comments you know it gives me ideas it opens up my my views on a lot of things and uh, things change so uh, a lot of times like some guys will critique me on older videos and you know saying okay you're full of bs you you don't know what you're talking about and stuff like that and like i used to read that at that time and think oh man you know uh, get all butt hurt and stuff like that but now i read that and i'm like oh, i think that guy's right <laughs> so that's why if you guys see me liking a comment where you're essentially telling me that you know i don't know what i'm talking about i'm full of it and blah 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 like it, it's okay man it's okay i appreciate those comments too because uh, a lot of times like i i you know like I don't I, I mean the me now wouldn't agree with me with the the me who did who made that video necessarily about a, a year a year and a half ago right people change and stuff like that and uh, it's an ongoing process ongoing evolution and that's it man so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'll see you guys in the next one thank you very much peace